Praise Master Jesus. Developing an understanding heart. We are going to read from the book of Psalm, uh, uh, First King, sorry, First King 3, 1 to 15. First King 3, 1 to 15. If you are there, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. First King 1, First King 3, 1 to 15. And the Bible says, Jerusalem, um, sorry, and Solomon made affinity with Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and took Pharaoh's daughter and brought her into the city of David until he had made an end of building his own house. And the house of the Lord and the wall of Jerusalem around, around, about, around about, only the people sacrificed in his place, in high places, because there was no house built unto the name of the Lord until those days. And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the state uh, of, of David his father, only he sacrificed and burnt incense in high places. Uh, verse 4, And the king went to Gibeon, to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for that was a great high place. A thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offer upon that altar. Five, in Gibeon the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast uh, showed unto thy servant David my father great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth, and in righteousness, and in uprighteousness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for him this great kindness, that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne, as it, sorry, as it is this day. Seven, and now, O Lord my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David my father, and I am but a little child. I not know how to go out or come in, and thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered, nor counted for multitude. Verse 9 said, Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern, with, uh, discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? said, And the speech pleased the Lord, that Solomon had uh, asked this thing. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for thy understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart so that there was no like thee before thee, neither after shall any rise like unto thee. And I, ha I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. And if thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments as thy father David did walk, then I will lengthen thy days. And Solomon awoke, and behold, it was a dream. And he came to Jerusalem, and stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and offered up burnt offering, and offered peace offerings, and made a feast to all his servants. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are talking about developing an understanding heart. Now, I will explain what uh, many of us know what a heart uh, means. So a heart is, a, is described as a person in a self. The heart is the center of spiritual activity, moral understanding, and human will. And we are talking today about an understanding heart. What is an understanding heart? An understanding heart is a heart that is ready to be teach. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. A heart that is ready to be teach. A heart that is seeking to understand the will, the works of God, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the heart that is willing to follow Jesus, the heart that is active, is willing to follow the instructions of God. 
praise the Lord. That is the understanding heart. And we see that we read in the book of First King, and we read the story of Solomon. And God asks um, King Solomon the opportunity to ask for anything he desired. Now, God asks, uh, he asks you every day, every time he asks you, ask you, what can I do for you? What, what do you desire? But the answer you give, is it the answer of, uh, do you understand what God is really asking you? Or is the understanding of mind you are using? Praise the Lord. Today we are going to talk understanding with the heart. You, you have to understand with the heart. Praise the Lord. And we see that King Solomon um, made a request that God should give him an understanding heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. An understanding heart. And God was pleased with, uh, with the request of, of King Solomon. And he did not um, give him only the understanding heart, but because King Solomon understood with the heart what God really meant, what God really meant when he was uh, when he asked him, "What do you desire?" Because he, he had put him on a throne; he was the king, and he God, um, King Solomon, really understood what God is really uh, saying to him, and because he had an understanding heart, he told God, "I want um, I want to have the wisdom to." To, uh, to decide what is wrong and what is right for the people of, uh, from, of the people of my country. Praise the Lord. And this request, um, it pleased the Lord. Praise the Lord. It pleased the Lord. So this means that, that God, uh, when God asks you what you desire, and you say something, let's say something worldly, uh, God, I want a car, God, I want a house, this is not the question God is asking you, praise the Lord. This is not the question God is asking you. Because if you really have the understanding heart, if your heart is connected to God, then you will know what God means. And you will not ask for materialistic things, praise the Lord. Because if you, if you, um, if you request, let's say, for knowledge of God, for the wisdom of God, from the understanding of God, God will be happy. God will be pleased with the, with with your request, and He will add He will add the other things onto it because you did you did not ask. As He added um, the richness and honor onto the life of King Solomon, because He was pleased with the with the with the with the request of King Solomon. Praise the Lord. We see that this. King, this story is not about King Solomon. This story is in our daily life. Every day we have, every day, every minute, every second, God is asking you something. But do you have the understanding of the heart to, to answer God truly? Or do you have the understanding of the mind? Because when you use your mind to understand God, that is where the communication go wrong. Praise the Lord. When you use your mind to answer God, because is the heart. Praise the Lord. Is the heart. If you are, if your heart is connected to God, you will not use your mind, but you use your heart. You will feel, mm, God want me to do this. This is what God want me to do. Praise the Lord. And you will not use your mind. And when you use your heart, the the the. The request you do, you put onto God, it will please God. Praise the Lord. We are going um, to read um, in the book of Genesis, uh, Genesis 12. That's the story of Abraham. Genesis 12, 1 to 9. If you are there, shout hallelujah. It's the first book of, of, the, of the Bible. Praise the Lord. If you are there, you can read it. Genesis 12, 1 to 9. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now the Lord said to Abraham, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation. And I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. And him who dishonors you, I will curse. 
and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abraham went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. And Abraham took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their possessions that they had gathered, and the people that they had acquired in Haran, and they set out to go to the land of Canaan. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abraham passed through the land to the place at Shechem, to the oak of Moreh. And at that time, the Canaanites were in the land. Then the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built there an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he moved to the hill on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent, with Bethel on the west and I on the east. And there he built an altar to the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. And Abraham journeyed on, still going towards the Negev. And now there was a famine in the land, so Abraham went down to Egypt to, to, uh, to sojourn there, for the famine was severe in the land. When he was about to enter Egypt, he said to Sarai, his wife, I know that you are a, be a woman beautiful in appearance, mm -hmm. and when the Egyptians see you, they will say, this is his wife, then they will kill me, but they will let you live. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. We see um, in this story of, of Genesis, Abraham also had the heart of understanding. Praise the Lord. He had the heart of understanding. We see that when God called Abraham, when God um, invited Abraham on a new life journey with him, praise the Lord, God promises Abraham a lot of things. Praise the Lord. He promises Abraham a new land. He promised provision, a great name, protection, and many more. Praise the Lord. And we see that Abraham had an understanding heart because when God called Abraham and he answered, that means he, he has an understanding um, heart. Because if God calls you and you don't answer, then you don't have understanding heart. Praise the Lord. We see that um, this, the, the blessings that God um, speak about in, in this chapter 12, it's not all of it. It's not what he wanted to bless Abraham. This, these are just uh, teasers. It's just to, to make Abraham to move. But the real blessing is coming after when Abraham listened to the voice of God. Praise the Lord. The real blessing will come after Abraham listens and follow what God is 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 uh, is telling him. Praise the Lord. And we see in this verse of Genesis 12, 1 to 9, that the intention that God had for Abraham were bigger than Abraham could have imagined. It is not only the blessings that God mentions in verse 12, but they were bigger. They were bigger. Praise the Lord. They were bigger. And we see that in our daily life, every day we get an invitation from God. Praise the Lord. We get an invitation from God. An invitation to live whatever we are doing to follow God. Praise the Lord. Because Abraham got an invitation to leave what is his country, to leave his father's house, and to go where God uh, wanted him to go. Praise the Lord. And we see in our daily life that every day we get an uh, invitation from God to leave whatever we are doing to do his work. Praise the Lord. To follow what he wants us to do, the, the will that he gave unto our life. Praise the Lord. And the question we have to ask ourselves, when God invites you, do you, do, you, do you follow? Do you listen to the voice of God? Praise the Lord. This is the question I want you to, to put in your mind. When God uh, invites you, when God invites you, do you listen to the voice of God? Do you, um, do you accept his invitation? Praise the Lord. Do you accept his invitation? Praise the Lord. Because it is really important. It is really important. If you want God to, to do something in your life, you have to listen to what he say. Because communication is not only one-sided, praise the Lord. Communication comes from two sides. Amen. 
You ask God, God answered, and God asked you, and you answer. Praise the Lord. You ask God, God answered, and and God asked you, and you answer. So it's it's a two-way thing. Praise the Lord. It's a two-way thing. So when God invites you, what do you do? Do you accept his invitation? Do you leave whatever you are doing uh, behind and follow him? Or do you say, uh, Lord, you know what? I will just finish this, and then uh, when I finish, I will follow you. Praise the Lord. No. Abraham, he left his house, and he followed what God was telling him to do. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. And we see as, um, as Abraham continued his journey with God, he learned that God knows how to keep his promises. Praise the Lord. He learned that God knows how to keep his promises. That is same with our life now. That is the same with our daily life now. As you journey with God, you will learn that what God promises you, he, he, he will keep that promise. He will make that promise uh, to come true. Praise the Lord. He will make that promise to come true. What If, if you just accept his, his invitation and journey with him, he will, you will learn that um, God is a God uh, that keeps promises. Praise the Lord. And we see that their friendship continued to reveal the truth uh, initial for the, uh, for the invitation. Because what I said earlier, this, the calling, the invitation, it was not all that God wanted. It was not all. But it, it is a step thing. So when Abraham answered, and God sees uh, this man is serious with me, and then God will reveal something else that He wants to do in the life of Abraham. Praise the Lord, Amen. and that is the same that God wants to do in your life also. So when you answer to God, and you accept to journey with Him, and you accept to be His friend and to listen to what He's telling you to do, in in when you are on the journey. You will learn that the plan of God is not the plan that you only know, but the plans of God is they keep revealing, they keep coming. Praise the Lord! They keep coming. It's not only what you think God wants to do in your life, but God wants to do great things in your life. Praise the Lord! God wants to do great things in your life. And we see um, in Genesis 15:1. Genesis 15:1. After this thing, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham. I, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Praise the Lord. Amen. I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. What, is, what does this mean? Because um, God continued to reveal the, the true uh, invitation that he, he, he wanted to do in the life of of, of Abraham. And in Genesis 15, 1, it tells Abraham, I am your shield, praise the Lord. I, I, I am your shield, do not fear. I am your shield. I am your great reward, praise the Lord. I am your great reward. So in other words, the real prize is me, the Lord, praise the Lord. Because the word, the word of God says in Genesis 15, the the last the last paragraph i am your shield and the exceedingly great reward so the real price here that the that god had for abraham was him <laughs> praise the lord it was him praise the lord and we often we christian we miss the real price in our life praise the lord often we miss the real price uh, reward in our life which is god because we do not answer unto God. We do not answer unto the calling of God. Because we seem, sometimes, you, we Christians, we memorize, we, we are busy memorizing Bible verses, we are busy listening to the word, but it, it, it is good. I do not say it is bad to memorize and, and listening to the word of God, but you have to make sure that the word you are listening to, uh, or you are you are memorizing it, it enters into the heart. Praise the Lord. Do not just memorize it for the head. Praise the Lord. 
do not just memorize it from the head because it is the heart that has to change. Praise the Lord. It is the heart that has to connect with the heart of God. Praise the Lord. Because our heart is the life. The, our heart is the is the organ that pumps blood, and the blood is the life. If if our heart stop pumping now, we are dead. Praise the Lord. If the heart stop pumping, we are dead. So, we often um, we often miss uh, the the real price in our life, which is God. And we seem to think uh, studying this and studying this and putting in our mind is just enough. Praise the Lord. No, it it is not enough. Praise the Lord, mm -hmm. because it is possible you can you can um, rehearse seventy verses, they will clap for you. Praise the Lord. It is possible you can you can you can memorize all those verses, they will clap for you. But does it do anything in in your heart? Praise the Lord, because um, uh, by reading the you have if you read the Bible. Praise the Lord. You have to read with proper attention, praise the Lord. You don't just have to memorize it. And that is the understanding which I want God to put into your life today, praise the Lord. You just don't read to memorize it. But every word that you read from the Bible, you have to read with attention, praise the Lord. Because scriptures are God-given wisdom, praise the Lord. And it is the wisdom that we need to understand the word of God. It is the wisdom that we need for our hearts to get the understanding, praise the Lord. So we see that scriptures are God's proven wisdom. And when you take a scripture to read, you must understand that every part of the of God's word that is written there is for your um, is for, is to show the intentions of God's heart in your life. Praise the Lord. Is to show the intentions of God's word in your life. Praise the Lord. So it is important for you to read with understanding. Praise the Lord. To read with understanding, not to read to memorize the word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And if you read, you have to read um, for God to give you an if uh, to an invitation. If you read um, with the with the understanding. If you get that wisdom, praise the Lord. If you get that wisdom that you read, every word that you read, that is, is to show the intentions of God's heart into your life, then you have to know that every word there is the real price, and that's God. Every word there is the real price, uh, price in your life, and that's God. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. And now I'm going to give you um, four points on how to, de to develop an understanding heart, praise the Lord. How to develop an understanding heart. Point number one, if you want to develop an understanding heart, you have to uh, listen. You have to listen and follow the voice of God, praise the Lord. We just read that in Genesis 12, verse 4, that um, when Abraham had the voice of God, praise the Lord, when Abraham had the voice of God, when he got the invitation for, from God for him to journey with him, he listened to the voice of God and he followed the instruction of God. And we see later that the blessing that God promises him and many more was added onto his life, praise the Lord. So we need to listen and to follow the voice of God. That is point number one, how to, de how to develop an understanding heart. Point number two, we have to be available, praise the Lord. At any point, you have to be available. You have to be ready to do the work of God. Let us read in Luke 14, Luke 14, 25. Luke 14, 25, uh, 27. If you are there, you can read. I will read. 
And there went a great multitude with him, and he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life, also he do this work. Praise the Lord. Point number three on how to develop an understanding heart, you have to be humble. Praise the Lord. You have to be humble. Um, if we read in 1 Samuel 18 uh, and 14, 1 Samuel 18, 14, That's the story of David. Praise the Lord. If you are there, you can read. First Samuel 14. And David had success in all his undertakings, for the Lord was with him. The next one. And when Saul saw that he had great success, he stood in fearful away of him. But Praise the Lord. We see that, in, if you read the full verse, you see that in everything David did, from, from when he was a shepherd to a king, he, he was successful, praise the Lord. But when, when he was still successful, he did not bribe himself, praise the Lord. He was, he was humble. He stayed humble, praise the Lord. He stayed humble. In everything, every success that God gave David, he stayed humble. This is the heart that we Christians have to have. In any successful uh, point of life you are in, you have to stay humble. Praise the Lord. In any level that God will bring you up, you have to know that God is God. And it's God is not man. Praise the Lord. And you have to put yourself under God, praise the Lord. You have to know your place, praise the Lord. Because pride is not is is a bad spirit. And when you are pride, when you pride yourself because God has blessed you of God has given you success, all this pride, God will just make you fall down. Praise the Lord. Because in the book of Proverbs the um the Bible say uh, pride be, uh, comes before a fall. So if you pride yourself for the for the things that God has blessed you with, God will just put you down. Praise the Lord. He will just make you fall. Praise the Lord. So we Christians, we have to, if we have, uh, we want to develop an understanding heart, a heart that understands how God works, we have to be humble and stay in our places. Praise the Lord. We have to stay humble and know God is God and God can do anything. Praise the Lord. God is the God that brings you up and is the one also that will bring you down when you pride yourself. Praise the Lord. And point number four um, is patience. Praise the Lord. Point number four on how to develop an understanding heart is patience. When we read in uh, the story of Job on, on uh, Job 1, we see that Job went through a lot, praise the Lord. Job, he lost everything. He was suffering, but Job did not give up on God. Job did not, uh, he did not give up, praise the Lord. Because Job knew the God he was serving, praise the Lord. God knew, uh, Job knew the God he was serving. This also, we have, we as Christians, we have to have this kind of patience. Because, you know, when you are a Christian, <clears throat> yesterday we were talking about it in the Bible study. We as, uh, we as Christians in this world, it's like we are living in hell. So everything we go through is really difficult for us. If you see um, the non-Christian, the non-believers, non you see they, they are very successful, they are rich, they have almost everything. And then they will ask you, the God you are serving cannot give you this and this and this? Praise the Lord. This is also the same God um, that uh, he doubled the, the, the blessing of Job. Praise the Lord. Because Job was patient enough. Praise the Lord. So we Christians, we have to be patient because 
we go through a lot, but is the will is is the will of God that we are doing? Praise the Lord! Is the will of God that we are doing that make us to do this to to be going through all this? So when we are patient enough, God God knows God knows what we are going through. So God will come through. Praise the Lord! God knows what we are going through, and God will come through because Job did not give up. Even because he lost everything, he lost his children, he lost um, all, all, all his belongings he lost. But if, if we, human for now, if we start losing all these things, we will start wondering and doubting on God. Is this God I'm, I'm serving really, does he really live? Does he really care about me? And we see that Job did not even doubt on God. Praise the Lord. Because he knew, he knew God that he served cannot forsake him. He knew that God that he served cannot forsake him. That is the same heart that we have to have. Praise the Lord. We have to have the same heart as Job. Praise the Lord. Because when you have faith in God, you have to have patience. When you have faith in God, you have to have patience. That this thing is just temporary. And God will bless you later. Praise the Lord. And when the blessings of God come, you cannot even count them. Praise the Lord. When the blessings of God start coming, you cannot even count them. Praise the Lord. These are, these are all the four um, points I had for you on how to develop an understanding heart. Praise the Lord. And now we are going to raise up on our feet as we are about to pray. Praise the Lord. Maybe um, you have you have made yourself an available for the work of God. You have been hiding or you have been running from the work of God. But this this is the opportunity for you to ask God to deliver you. Praise the Lord. This is the opportunity for you to ask God to deliver you. Yeah. Change my heart, oh Lord. 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 I don't want to remain the same again. Change my heart, oh Lord. I don't want to remain the same. Change my heart, oh Lord. I have decided to follow Jesus. 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 No turning back. mercy upon your life for in any time that you have made yourself unavailable to do his work that in any time that he had called you in any time in any moment that he had invited you to journey with him but you did not accept his his invitation just ask him for mercy just ask him for mercy and tell him that you have decided now that you have made up your mind to follow him that you have made up your mind to to accept his to accept his call that you have made up your mind to accept his his invitation to journey with you in your life in the mighty name of Jesus just cry unto the lord to have mercy upon you in the mighty name of Jesus 
my father, my Lord, so Lord, so much, my father. As your children, all of father, I have received this message, my father, my Lord, so Lord, father. Uh, in any way, my father, my Lord, they made that their self, all of father, unavailable, all father. In any way, my father, my Lord, they have been hiding, all of father. They have been running, all of father, from your work, all of father. My father, my Lord, all of father, may you have mercy upon them, all of father. May you have all of father mercy upon all of your father. May you let all of father, may you not take your grace, all of father, and your mercy, all of father, away from their life, all of father. My father, my Lord, all of father. Your children, all of father, have said they have decided, all of father. They are ready, all of father, to follow you, all of father. They are ready, my father, my Lord, all of father, to accept, all of father, your invitation, all of father. Your invitation, all of father, to journey with them, my father, my Lord, all of father. They are ready, my father, my Lord, all of father. May you deliver them, all of father. May you deliver them from every hiding spirit, all of father. May you deliver them, all of father, from every spirit of fear, all of father. Every spirit of shame, my father, my Lord, to do your work, all of father. May you deliver them, my father, my Lord, all of father. May you deliver them, O Lord, to your father. May you deliver them, my father, my Lord, all of father. They are ready, my father, my Lord, O Lord, Father. They say, O Lord, Father, they are ready, O Lord, Father. They are ready, O Lord, Father, to accept your call, O Lord, Father. They are ready, O Lord, Father, to receive you, O Lord, to your Father. Hear their cry, O Lord, Father. May you hear their cry, my Father, my Lord, O Lord, Father. Cry to God to give you wisdom. As Solomon cried for God to give him wisdom, for him, for him to know what is good and what is bad. Cry for God to give you wisdom. Because if you have that wisdom of God, you will have the understanding. You will have the heart of understanding. You will have the heart of understanding. If you have that wisdom, you will have a teachable heart. You will have a teachable heart. You will have a heart that is ready to understand the work of God. You will have the heart that is ready to, to, to do the work of God. Just ask God to give you that wisdom. Just ask God to give you that wisdom. That wisdom and knowledge of God. So that you can get that understanding. So that you can get that understanding of the heart. For when he will ask you, what do you desire? That you that you 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 will give a request that will please him in the mighty name of Jesus. That you will give a request that will please him in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just pray for God to give you a heart that understands. The, the heart of God, a heart that understands the heart of God, the ways of God, and what God wants you to do for Him in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, oh Lord, Jehovah, Jireh, Father, we ask, oh Lord, Father, for a heart, oh Lord, Father, that understands, oh Lord, Father. For a heart, oh Lord, Father, that understands, oh Lord, Father, how you work, oh Lord, Father. A heart, oh Lord, Father, that understands, oh Lord, Father, you are works, oh Lord, Father. My Father, my Lord, my oh Lord, Jehovah, Jireh, Father, may you give your children, oh Lord, Father, an understanding heart, oh Lord, Father, so that my Father, my Lord, oh Lord, Father, they will have, oh Lord, Father, a heart of understanding, oh Lord, Father. They when 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 they are in your presence, O oh Lord Father, when they are not in your presence, O oh Lord Father, in anything they will do, O oh Lord Jehovah Jireh Father, they will do, O oh Lord Father, with an understanding heart, O oh Lord Father. They will do it, O oh Lord Father, with an understanding heart, O oh Lord Father. They will do, O oh Lord Father, with an understanding uh, heart, O oh Lord Father. Let's pray for humbleness. Let us pray for spirit of humbleness to be upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for spirit of humbleness, for God to put a Spirit, our spirit of humbleness in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Because when we pride ourselves, God will make us fall. That, that is not our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. That is not our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. God's will in, in our life is to lift us up. Is to lift us up. Just pray for God to give you that 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 spirit of humbleness. Father, Lord, oh Lord, Jehovah, children, Father, as your children, oh Lord, Father, are asking, oh Lord, Father, for the spirit of humbleness, oh Lord, Father, may you give them that spirit, oh Lord, Jehovah, children, Father, so that they can be able, oh Lord, Father, to develop, oh Lord, Father, an understanding heart, oh Lord, Father, so that they can be able, oh Lord, Father, to develop an understanding heart, oh Lord, Father. Every spirit of brightness, oh Lord, Jehovah, children, Father, we cast it out, oh Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, Father. Every spirit, oh Lord, Father, of Right, right, oh Lord, Father, we cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for, for, for God, for, for availability. For
for God to make you available. It's God has made you available already, but it's up to you to be available for God. So pray for you to have to be available for God. For when God invites you, that you will be available to do the work of God. So that when God will invite you, you will be available to do the work of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for the spirit of patience, for you to have that spirit of patience, so that when you have difficulties in your life going on, you will not give up. You will not say that the God you are serving is not God. You will not say, ah, why is God allowing me to, to, to go through this? You will not say that, but you will have a spirit of patience. Just as Job had the spirit of patience in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let your spirit of patience, O oh Lord, Father, be, O oh Lord, Father, upon the life of your children tonight, O oh Lord, Father. Let it be upon, O oh Lord, Father, the life of your children tonight, O oh Lord, Father. So that any time, O oh Lord, Father, they will have difficulties in their life, O oh Lord, Father. They will be patient enough, O oh Lord, Father, to wait for their time, O oh Lord, Father. To wait for their season of blessing, O oh Lord, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good. You can do more than that. You can do more than that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, sister. Now may God will continue to use you for his glory to do signs and wonder. In people's life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Developing understanding the heart. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, when you don't understand the way of God, you do this, you take this lightly. Hallelujah. You are born to do the will of God. Amen. You know, Jeremiah 1 verse 5, he said, He will he know you before he form you into your mother womb. He creates you, your head, to do his will, Amen. to understand his will. Hallelujah. Amen. There are many ways we are called. God is calling us Amen. to speak to us. Amen. We are so busy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are so busy in our mind. We are so busy to do our will. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to ask God, God Almighty, in every area I'm so busy to recognize your voice. Oh Lord Jesus, show me mercy. Show me mercy. In every area, you have been calling me to do your will. I'm so busy to recognize your voice, oh Lord. Oh Lord Jesus, show me mercy. Don't take your grace away from me. In every area, we are not understanding your will. In every area, we are doing our will to not do your will. Oh Lord Jesus, on the, Father Lord, show us mercy. In every area we are so busy in our heart. When we are choosing to do your will. Because your word said, oh Lord, in John 9 verse 4, he said, I will do the work of God. We must do the work of God. Whether day or night, when no man can walk. Oh Lord Jesus, in every area we are so busy to recognize your voice, oh Lord. Oh Lord Jesus, show us, oh Lord, your mercy. We need your mercy. We need your mercy to do your will, not to do our will. Father Lord, show us your grace. Show us your mercy, oh Lord. Because your word said, oh Lord, Jay 1 verse 22. He said we have to be a doer of the word of God, not only here I know. We are going to pray in every area we are being a year alone to not move according to his will. To not do his will. Oh Lord Jesus, show us mercy. Show us mercy, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty, oh Lord. We need to understand your way is to do your will, not to do our will, oh Lord. God Almighty, oh Lord, we plead for your mercy. We plead for your forgiveness so that your mercy can cleanse us. You saw that your mercy can bring God to a higher level. God of mercy, God of forgiveness, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, we plead for your mercy. In every area we have that listening here, you are created up with that listening here. But we refuse to listen to your will, to, to your voice, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, we plead for your mercy. We plead for your forgiveness, O oh Lord. God Almighty, in every area we are not available. To you, O Lord, Father, Lord, 
We plead for your mercy. We plead for your forgiveness, O oh Lord. Don't take your grace away from us, O oh Lord, because you love us so much. In every area, O oh Lord, we are keeping all that things before you. O oh Lord Jesus, we plead for your mercy. In every area, we are not available anytime you are calling us. Anytime you are calling us, we plead for your mercy. We plead for your forgiveness, O oh Lord. You are incredible God. Incredible God. O oh Lord Jesus. The I am that I am. The covenant keeping God. In every area we are not available. For you, Lord, where you are calling us. We plead for your mercy. We plead for your forgiveness, O Lord, as we are here before you, Lord, this evening, O Lord. We plead for your mercy. We plead for your forgiveness. We pray, O Lord, in every area we are not humble. David, because of his humbleness, you bring it to a higher level. Pray for mercy in every area you are not humble. Before God, O Lord, King of King, Lord of Lord, Lord. Jehovah, this is Jehovah Jireh. In every area, we are so proud to do our will to not do your will, O Lord. In every area, we are proud, O Lord, for the, to give that chance for the devil. O Lord Jesus, we plead for your mercy. We plead for your forgiveness, O Lord. Don't take your grace away from us, O Lord. Because you are full of your mercy, you are full of your grace, O Lord. God Almighty, O Lord. We pray, O oh Lord, your daughter has speak a repenting heart. Patient, patient. Hallelujah. In every area, we are not patient enough for you to bless us. For you to bring us to a higher level. Oh Lord Jesus, we plead for your mercy. We plead for your forgiveness, O oh Lord. In every area, we are so hurry. We are so hurry to start praying to other God. That cannot help us. To start inviting other gods. That cannot help us. In every area we are full of impatience, O oh Lord. We plead for your mercy. We plead for your mercy, O oh Lord. In every area, impatience are making our blessing to be long. O oh Lord Jesus, we plead for mercy. Impatience make Sarah blessing to be long. Sarah and Abraham. Sarah and Abraham, he patient made their blessing to be long. Oh Lord Jesus, we plead for your mercy. We plead for your forgiveness, oh Lord. Make us to be patient for you to continue bring us to a higher level. For you to continue bless us, oh Lord. Every impatient that make us to pray to other gods. Oh Lord Jesus, we plead for your mercy. We plead for your forgiveness. In every area, oh Lord, we are so impatient to invite other gods where there is God of solution. Oh Lord Jesus, we plead for your mercy. We plead for your forgiveness, oh Lord. God Almighty, oh Lord. All power belongs to you, oh Lord. You are here where you are, you are a miracle working God. You are God that bless your children day and night, oh Lord. Father, Lord, in every area we are not understanding your way. In every area we are living in our own understanding. Do not live in your own understanding. We plead for your mercy. We plead for your forgiveness, O oh Lord. Don't take your grace away from us, O oh Lord. As we are hear your word this, this evening, O oh Lord. O oh Lord Jesus, God of mercy, have mercy upon your children. Have mercy upon us, O oh Lord. Have mercy upon us, O oh Lord, in every area, O oh Lord, because of impatience, O oh Lord. To invite other gods, O oh Lord. To make our blessing to be long, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, we plead for your mercy. We plead for your forgiveness, O oh Lord. Don't take your grace away from us, O oh Lord. Don't take your grace away from us, O oh Lord. Jehovah Nisi, let our hearts continue to be for you. Make God to understand your will. Make God to understand your way. Oh Lord Jesus, we need your understanding more and more in our life, oh Lord. Make God to understand your way. Because when we understand your way, we are going higher. God Almighty, oh Lord, help your children 
to understand your way. As I hear this word this evening, O oh Lord, God Almighty, O oh Lord, I believe you are arresting their heart. You are arresting everyone's heart here tonight. You are arresting everyone's heart here tonight, that heart that is far for you. Heart that is so busy. Heart that is full of impatience. Heart that is full of to not listen to your voice. That listen to the voice of darkness. As Adam and Eve listen to the voice of the devil. Oh Lord Jesus, you are arresting that heart here tonight. Let that heart, oh Lord, be arrested, oh Lord. That heart that is so busy. To not recognize your voice when you are speaking. To go to ungodly. To not recognize your voice, oh Lord. Father, Lord, that heart that is so, so busy. God Almighty, oh Lord. Samuel heart was so busy to run to prophet Ellen. He said, are you coming? He said, you are, I'm not the one that called you. When you hear that voice again, three times he called. He said, when you hear that voice again, say, God, here I am. Prophet Helen, he said, just say, here I am. The heart of here I am, God gave to you. You use it to say to God, here I am, speak. Speak to me, Lord. Let me obey your word. Let me understand your way. Let me patient for you to do man, that marvelous, that greater thing in my life. Oh, Lord Jesus. Make me to be humble. Oh, Lord Jesus. Make your children to be humbleness. Humbleness bring good news. Open and bring your children to a higher level. Oh Lord Jesus. As your daughter has speak, your servant, O Lord. I speak, O Lord. God Almighty, O Lord. Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jare. The heart of listening, you are given to your children. They will use it to listen to your voice. To say, here I am, Lord. Speak to it. Speak to that heart, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Here I am, Lord. To patient for you to do a marvelous thing, a greater things in my life, in your children's life. In the mighty name of Jesus, here I am, Lord, to humble before you, Lord. Humbleness. Two people went to the house of God. One was pride. God did not listen to prideness. God listened to humble. He said, God, through your mercy, hear me. Hear me, oh Lord Jesus. He humble before God. God lift you up. God will continue to lift you up in a higher level. God will continue to lift you up to a higher level. God will continue to lift you up to a higher level with, with your hope, with your humbleness. In the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty, oh Lord. Your children are here, oh Lord. Here to listen to your voice. You are giving to them. They will continue to use it to listen to your voice for manifestation to take place in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus, as they hear this word this evening, O oh Lord, God Almighty, O oh Lord, they will meditate in it day and night. They return with a great testimony to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, God Almighty, O oh Lord, you are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end, O oh Lord. Your children will continue patient for you. They will continue patient for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty, O oh Lord. They will continue available for your world. For your work to continue manifest in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty, O oh Lord. You will be blessing your children. Day and night, O oh Lord. You will be blessing them. This is new beginning. Amen. Of their listening to your word. Amen. To your voice. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As they step their leg to this place here tonight, O oh Lord. O oh Lord Jesus. They will continue to listen to your voice. Amen. And not the voice of the darkness. Amen. As Adam and Eve, O oh Lord. Listen to the voice of the devil. Where God has speak. Your children will continue to listen to your voice. Amen. For manifestation to take place in their life. Amen. They will not listen to that unbelieving that speaking in their ear. They are, will not listen to that discouragement. They will listen to the voices of God that will bring them to a higher level. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will obey them to your word, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty, O Lord. 
they will continue patient for you, for your work to manifest in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all you have been doing for what you are still going to do. We bind every disobedient here right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every impatient, we bind them here right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty.